Hey, what's up guys? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with another exclusive Atrix tutorial. Today we'll be talking about SPF flashing back to stock using RSD Lite, which is a Motorola-based tool to flash Motorola-based firmware back to phones. And today we're working with the Atrix, so let's get involved. Okay, so now we've got our Atrix and we'd like to revert back to an out-of-the-box type of state. Now obviously this is a fully modified Atrix, I used it personally and I've got different launcher, different widgets, tons and tons and tons and tons of apps and this thing's been completely customized and it's on the latest update, um, well one of the latest updates which is 1.5.7. Now I'd like to get this back to the way it came out of the box because say I didn't realize that you couldn't root this without first being rooted a certain way from the original and then upgrading or something like that or your phone's messed up and you want to revert it back to stock. Well, let's talk about how we're going to do that. First you need to download the drivers for 32-bit or 64-bit operating systems. That was an email. And um, you can get those at my website in the link below in the description. So go ahead and install the drivers on your machine. Then we're going to power the device off. Okay, once we've downloaded our drivers, we can also download RSD Lite. This is what the software looks like. You can get that at my website in the description below as well. Install it, and when you open it up, you'll see this. It's a very simplistic looking uh, flash-based tool to flash phones with firmware. All right, so now we've powered our phone down. We've installed our drivers. We've installed RSD Lite. We want to put the phone into RSD mode. To do that, hold volume down and the power button. Continue to hold them until you get the text at the top of the screen and that text will say fast boot. Now we want to review some of our options. To review the options, press volume down. When you're ready to select, press volume up. So volume down gives us fast boot, NV flash, BP hardware bypass RSD, BP hardware bypass QC deload, and a lot of other stuff as well. So we're looking for RSD, just plain RSD, just like that. Once we've reached RSD, press volume up. Starting RSD protocol will display on the phone. Now, we want to take our USB cable and plug the device in. When the device is plugged in, you should see this connected. This makes sure that our computer can see the Atrix. So, at this time, what you need to do is download the actual Atrix image file for what you'd like to flash to the phone. You can find links for those in the description below as well, based on which version of, of Motorola's software you'd like to put on the Atrix. For this purpose, for this tutorial, for the purpose of us creating a series on how to maintain root, we're going to flash back to the original uh, software. Now you can get these links also on the XDA Developers thread that I'll provide in the link below as well. So we're going to download 1.2.6, which is the Atrix.7zip file. The password for this package is AtrixBL. Download this if you'd like to go to 1.26 or download the 1.52 from here. Now keep in mind, if you'd like to go to the newest update and get the benefits of it but maintain root, you need to go ahead and flash the older one as you need to flash that. Then we'll do a process that will install root and then we can do our upgrade and maintain root. So for this tutorial, we're simply just going to show you how to flash back. So we're going to download the 1.26, which we've already done. When you download it, it's going to come in as a package. Use 7-zip to unzip it and uh, obviously the password is atrixbl all lowercase no spaces no special characters and you can unzip that after that we can take a look at what's in the file so we'll go to our downloads and atrix eh, it went to the file instead so I'll just go down to the folder lots of phone stuff in this directory atrix and we can see our image file it's 1.4 gigabytes which is massive, but that's kind of the going trend. Things are getting bigger and bigger with 2.2.1, 2.3. And actually today I found out that Ice Cream or Ice Cream Sandwich is the official name of the release of Android that will come next. So that's cool. Um, not sure what's going to be around the corner. Cookie dough, something like that. But anyways, so it's an S SBF file is the format that you're going to see for the type. Keep note of where this file is on the machine. Now, go back to your RSD Lite software and click the dot dot dot, this is the browse button, and then go out to wherever the file is. So for us, we're already in there, 
and it was under Downloads, Atrix, and then there's the file. Double click the file. You'll get some information about it as well to make sure that you've got the right thing. 4G Tegra, we know it's correct for the device. And from here, we can simply click Start. Now, this is going to take a long time, 20 to 25 minutes perhaps, and it's going to begin to flash the phone back to stock, and we'll get a progress meter for the various steps of what's going on here. So right now, we're going to do a fast forward, and we'll catch up with you in just a moment to review our changes and verify that you are up and running and everything is good to go. Just wanted to show you guys a quick view of what you'll be seeing. You'll be seeing something like this in the progress bar. Executed 15%. It'll slowly be going up as it just did to 19%. On the phone side, don't worry. You're going to see a blank uh, boot screen. It's not a big deal. And it's to be expected. Also, this may go through a couple of different things. So you don't think that the first 100% you see is the end of it. It may go through one or two different cycles. So, And you can see the status is actually changing as it goes through these. So... Bear with it, and we'll catch up with you guys in the end. Alright, let's take a look at our completed result. We are back to Moto Blur. We have logged into our Moto Blur account. Remember that you probably will need a SIM card active to re-log in or register your account. No applications are on the phone anymore, as we mentioned in that note in the beginning. Everything has been restored, even the, in my opinion, kind of junky looking launcher. Um, one thing to make a note of is you don't lose any files on the internal SD card. They're all still there and the actual SD card isn't touched either on the removable storage. If you have one installed, that won't be touched either. So let's take a look at our settings about phone and we have reverted to 1.2.6 for the build number. That's how to use SBF to use RSD Lite 5.0 to reflash original firmware to your Atrix. Let us do this for you as a service. You can check that out in the link in the description below. We'd be more than happy to fix your non-booting Atrix or restore this firmware as well as root your phone or install a custom ROM such as Gender Blur. And uh, if this video saved you time and or a headache, we do graciously accept donations. You can donate at our site at the link below in the description if this helped you out. Uh, be sure to subscribe to us, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and um, if this is the first video you're checking out, mobiletechvideos.com. Be sure to bookmark that website for whenever you need anything Atrix or anything mobile phone. We can help you out with any questions you may have, so leave comments in the section below. And uh, keep an eye on us. We're going to show you guys how to maintain root while updating to the latest Atrix firmware in our next few Atrix videos. So thanks for joining us, guys, and we'll catch you in the next video.